First off, thanks to everyone who's been patient. I actually uploaded a video about a week ago and I had a bunch of other videos slated, but I was using a different microphone system because my main one broke. I had to wait to get some new ones and basically I took down the video and kind of wasn't working on anything because I didn't want the sound quality to be terrible, which everybody was commenting that it was. So that's why you haven't seen any videos drop lately. Secondly, I got a herniated disc just a couple days ago. I'm now rocking this sweet cane at least for the next couple of weeks until the swelling goes down and then I'll be back to normal. But yeah, herniated disc sucks. That hurt quite a bit. Outside of that, I'm very happy to announce that I'm going to be getting my first sponsored uh, review. That's right. Somebody is sending me hardware. Now we've got some very cool stuff I want to talk about today, all AMD related as it has been for these last couple of weeks. So the first thing is that we are just a few short days away from the new Ryzen CPUs coming out on the 7th along with the new Ryzen or AMD, I should say GPUs, not Ryzen GPUs, but AMD GPUs are going to be dropping on the 7th. Pre-orders have not basically existed and I typically don't advise people to pre-order hardware anyway, except for people like myself who are either reviewers or need to get their hands on it to run tests and stuff like that. But for the average consumer, pre-ordering is usually a bad idea. And so even if these don't come up for pre-order and you're only able to purchase them the day they drop, not necessarily a bad thing, although there are some sites offering pre-orders on some of the motherboards right now. Um, these are, won't be shipped to you for like a couple of weeks. So your best bet may be actually going in person if you have a local like Micro Center or Best Buy and seeing if you can snag a CPU or a motherboard on that day if you want to get it day one. And remember, sites like Best Buy actually do a price match guarantee with online retailers like Amazon and Newegg. So as long as you can show them that you have the same model um, for a lower cost, they should be able to price match you, meaning that you're not going to spend anything additional. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, let's talk about some uh, leaked benchmark numbers here, probably the last ones we're going to get before the actual release of these CPUs, and some good GPU news for AMD fans. So first off, these benchmarks uh, were released online and then they are essentially taken down, but they were saved by people who got it before us you know they took down the article and it shows a bunch of tests done with some Ryzen CPUs uh, compared to some i7 i9s at 720p. Now the reason you do 720p when you're testing for CPU speed is you're trying to eliminate the GPU in any fashion you can. You're trying to basically make it a purely CPU bound test. It's not 100% perfect, but it does give an indication of single core performance and speed better than a lot of different methods of testing it, which is why people still do it. So at 720p, what we're seeing in some of these titles is that Intel wins in a couple of these titles by about 10 to 15 frames um, or relatively like 10 to 15%. And in other titles, AMD takes the cake. So it really looks like it's gonna be more title specific in terms of the video games that you're gonna be playing. And obviously we'll get concrete numbers here in just a few days. But that kind of, I mean, to me, that's basically what I was expecting anyway. A lot of these games are more dependent on uh, essentially uh, how they're programmed, even more than the CPU in certain situations. And so some will favor AMD, some will favor Intel. The other thing is that this appears to be at stock speed um, with the 3200 kit of RAM for uh, Ryzen, which remember, Ryzen depends more heavily on RAM speed than Intel does, at least when it comes to gaming. And the sweet spot from AMD of what they've said, I said this in my previous video, is 3600 uh, kit for RAM and then for RAM speed and 16 cast latency um, if you are going to be going out and get a kit, uh, even though technically you can go up to 3733. Uh, before your essentially your Infinity Fabric performance is cut in half, and that's why anything above that you're kind of wasting your money. So it's hard to verify if this is actual like performance that we're going to see or not. And the other thing to take with a caveat is these are all at stock speeds, and I doubt this was with any overclocking enabled. Um, I don't know even even if it was on an X570 chipset. So there's a lot of things we don't know yet. So it's possible that the performance on the AMD side stuff can definitely be pushed higher with a few you know with a better kit of RAM and a different chipset, but we're gonna again have to wait and see in terms of overall overclocking performance. So that's kind of the AMD side of things. It's more or less what I expected, but the very fact that they're essentially neck and neck for the most part is great news for everyone who's been an AMD fan because you're gonna be getting these CPUs at a lower dollar amount in terms of cores and performance and uh, at a lower uh, wattage usage, which is great considering that, you know, obviously we're uh, with some of these CPUs are capable of pulling, you know, two, 300 watts. So anyway, that's all good news on that end. Now on the GPU end of things, there's also some good news from AMD fans caused by all people of NVIDIA. At least I'm taking this as positive news. So basically, NVIDIA has released a bunch, or they're going to be releasing, I should say, a bunch of super GPUs, which is a slightly different GPU. Essentially, it's the, kind of like an unlocked GPU for all their current models, which is pushing down all their current GPU prices, or it should, which is good. 
and it's offering you a little more performance. If you watch any of the reviews on any of this stuff, I personally um, recommend checking out sites like uh, Paul Hardware or Bitwit. You'll see that they perform on five to 10% faster than the current lineup of the regular RTX GPUs from NVIDIA. But at the price point they were being released, the specific reason they did this is to offer a counter to the new AMD GPUs from Navi coming out um, for the same price. So basically you would get the exact same performance uptick but you'd also get ray tracing and DLSS, which even though nobody really uses right now is a value add. And so if you're choosing between those two cards and it's like, why would I spend the same amount of money and not get advantage of those technologies, which is what Nvidia is banking on. However, AMD is struck back. We've now have kind of a tentative confirmation. They're gonna be dropping their GPU prices, $100 and about $40, $50 respectively for the 5700 XT and the regular 5700. This is great news for everyone who's an AMD fan because the price to performance that these cards are trying to hit, I would say is where the vast majority of the market is when it comes to higher end gaming. Most people still, um, you know, according to like Steam statistics are sticking with a 1060 or 580. But if you're looking for an upgraded path to a higher um, GPU, uh, you're definitely going to be hopping on to like a 2060 or 2070, which is what these cards were competing against now competing against the 2060 super and the 2070 super, but now at a lower dollar price. So if you really don't care about DLSS and ray tracing, you're going to be able to get an AMD GPU most likely competing within the same range for less money if you don't care about those two technologies. So good on everyone. Competition is always good for consumers because it typically means lower prices. So yay, AMD GPUs are going to be cheaper, um, which should honestly make a lot of AMD fans happy because I know a lot of people were kind of slightly upset that Navi wasn't cheaper and they were hoping for like better price performance. But anyway, all good news around the board. So guys, thanks again for your patience. Sorry it took me a while to get a video out. Like I said, I've just been dealing with a lot of different crap as I normally am. But if you like this video, go and leave me a big thumbs up. If you hated it, go and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop. Thanks to everyone who's a Patreon or supports me directly through Twitch. I do stream on the weekend, guys, through Twitch if you ever wanna follow me there. Um, it's something that I do right now for fun, but I am gonna start building that out separately. I also wanna thank all of my Patreons for which my channel would not be possible because you directly support me with your hard-earned cash. I don't take that for granted. We do these monthly wallpapers. This actual month is late from the artist I'm waiting because all these are commissions, so they're all individual pieces. None of them are reproductions. So I'm waiting for that to come through for you Patreons, but thanks again for your patience. Thanks to everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link, and you can do that through the description down below and all that money goes back into the channel. And if you wanna DM me directly, leave a comment, join the Discord we have. There's a bunch of people who are both PC enthusiasts and gamers that I hang out with. I'm on a Discord that's actually ran by my friend, Perpetual Gamer, the Empty Clip Gaming Discord. And so you can join that if you wanna be part of our community, get to know us a little bit better. And I'm always for meeting new people and kinda of talking shop because we love both computer hardware and gaming and we'd love to talk with all of you guys as well as always guys i'm gonna continue to make these videos whether you watch them or not but i hope you do and i hope to see every single one of you and next time here on gear Dink. amd is coming i seriously can't wait a couple more days i can't believe i'm getting a sponsored review i'm pretty excited but i'm going to be giving away that hardware so make sure you guys come and check that out Lower pricing is always better. I mean, it was a crappy move, unfortunately, for AMD to lose money, but hey, better cost for us, right? 